What's up, Libra? It's your girl, Ivy Ladone, your fitness mystic. And today, we're going to inquire with the goddesses to see what your empowerment message is for the month of July 2023. Let's go ahead and see. Highest vibrational messages for the sign Libra for the month of July 2023. All right, Libra, so this is pertaining your career, your romance, your friendships, your family, uh, your own personal development, right? Your life, however that's going. Uh, so this is about what goddess wants to come forward to offer you a message of empowerment um, on your journey. Whoa. Okay, well, this one flipped over. Not sure what that's about, but let's take a look. This is goddess Hestia of the home. So home, I'm just going to leave her out. Any other messages that would like to come forward for... Libra, thank you. Any messages, any goddesses? All right. All right. All right, Libra. So interesting, no card came out, which is interesting and honestly very rare for my personal readings because I noticed that the way that I work with divinity is that I allow the cards to jump out or come out. And in this case, it did not do that. It kind of just flipped. Um... How do I feel about that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know yet. Maybe it'll come to me. We'll see. But take what resonates. Leave the best, Libra. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Uh, the goddess that wants to come forward once again to assist you for the month of July 2023 is goddess Hestia of the home. All right. So take what resonates. Leave the rest. So Libra, if you've been looking to give your home an update or uh, recalibrate or if you need like what we say in the Latino culture, un despojo, um, you know, goddess Hestia, she's wonderful because she governs the home. Uh, she wants to, she's nurturing. She loves to take care of the home um, and make sure that it's filled with what it needs in abundance of love. Um, so yeah, call upon Hestia for support, for organization, for that kind of stuff. The bottom of the deck Okay, because this is the goddess that wants to come forward to assist you on your journey in the month of July 2023, bringing great focus to the home, especially for the month of July. Um, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, it is summer. So there could be, of course, this desire maybe to want to go out in the, um, in the summer because the sun's out, right? Uh, but for whatever reason, if you're not feeling it, number one, I do want to say that, you know, for the month of July, your sign actually goes into the South Node of the lunar nodes and if you're not quite sure what that means let me know below in the comment if you're like what is the south node and i would love to respond or reply with a video okay but essentially for the month of july 2023 there's no coincidence that this card came forward because your sign goes into the south node which is about releasing which is about letting go and transmuting energy and re um you know just kind of letting things dissolve that no longer um are relevant in your life so things that have an expiration date and so that can kind of feel like a lot of energy you know and you're not sure why so if you feel like you need to rest or if you need to be more at home or if you need to just incubate for a little bit or just like hermit mode it's understandable um hestia is here to support you and wants to let you know like hey i'm here and spend more time at home it's going to help you in your healing process i also want to share with you that the bottom of your deck libra is devotion goddess parvati parvati sorry goddess parvati and goddess parvati is about devotion as you can see this card however came in the reversal at the bottom of the deck so it's saying that there's some inner devotion that you need to commit to in the month of july 2023 there's devotion that you do outside externally meaning you devote yourself to your job every day that you get up and you get in your car and you go and you do what you have to do that's you devoting yourself to your job that's a devotion um what this is asking you to do is we want you to find more retrieval like more in inward notice that there's home here and then there's devotion but in the inward way so like there's a lot of this coming home coming inward energy for the month of july 2023 for you libra um, and if you've been feeling the need to like retrieve and like just come home and like go inward and just chill, then like listen to the call, flow, pick up on that intuition and, you know, allow yourself because if anything, I mean, the energies are there. Energies, I always say the stars, they don't compel you. 
but they tell you. <laughs> so lean into that flow, into the south node of release, of recalibration, of letting go, of transmutation. Lean into the home. Goddess Hestia is here for you. And devote yourself into a more, uh, in, not introspective, but more so of um, more inner, inner practice, inner routine. How can you give more self-care to yourself, to your inner being? Not to the outer world, but to your home, to yourself, to the, to the being, okay? So I hope that this serves you. What is it that you're moving through, Libra, for the month of July 2023? Feel free to share that if you feel vulnerable. And if you don't, that's okay. Keep it to yourself. Other than that, I wish you an amazing rest of your month, and I'll see you in the next one.